Hello everyone. Hello. Okay, so today you are not going to see me to see my face. It's really too hot. I'm a mess. I cannot wear makeup. I look like nothing. It has been days like that and uh, I was postponing and postponing the video thinking I would be better and uh, no, the heat is worse and worse. So I thought, okay, I'm going just to show what I did so far. And uh, that's the most important. My face, you already know it. I have a link to give you. Actually, it's a viewer who sent me very good links sometimes. And uh, it's a podcast with Tim Pop who speaks a lot. <laughs> and I thought that it would be interesting for you. I will write the link in the description box. I don't know if my way of filming is great. Okay, so this is a notebook that I bought many years ago at Barnes & Noble. I love the, the print, it's very peace and love, very flower power. And uh, I thought, oh, I'm going to use it one day. And I started using it like, uh, not exactly a smash book, uh, more like a, a, a log book, uh, somewhere where I write everything related to my work, things that I must not forget, like phone numbers, like, uh, I don't know, uh, information about my health insurance, uh, things like that, which are not very exciting. But I also noted things that made me not sad, but it was related to a difficult period. So I didn't want to keep that and to, to see that. And I thought, oh, I'm going to cover with craft what I don't want to see anymore because it's too sad and I want to keep only what is fun and well, not what is fun but what is um, positive let's say because sometimes things are not fun but they are positive okay so I started with this page so it was not supposed to be uh, something very fancy it was just to cover you know uh, what I didn't want to see and I don't know what happened I started doing some kind of art on my <laughs> <laughs> on my smash book, blog book, workbook. So it, it was not intended like that. Uh, this is a sticker that has been given to me. So I wanted to keep it somewhere. So it's about Ukraine. And uh, I thought that the revolutionary woman from the French Revolution uh, uh, reminded me of these women who are fighting in Ukraine. So that's why it's there. And um, I, I really like this sticker, which is a little, like a little cushion, stamps, stamps that I especially like, uh, things like that. I hope that you can see. Yes. The next page. Oh, so this is the miraculous page. I started with, uh, I think that I, yes, there is some text. So I collage, I, I glued some page from a vintage book and then I covered with uh, this color, like a rusty color of paint. And uh, I made uh, stencils, black stencils that you can see underneath here. And I was there and I didn't know how to continue and, and, and what to do with it. So I thought, okay, I will see that tomorrow. And the next day I was in front of that and I received a very annoying phone call. I think it was related to an insurance or something really nothing exciting. <laughs> and during while I was talking over the phone about non exciting things, I pulled some images that I liked. And once I finished my conversation, I started gluing stuff but really without thinking about it you know really like uh, okay let's do that and i'm done with it <laughs> and uh, i put some white paint uh, maybe some gesso here that is a dry flower uh, oh that is uh, when you go to rachel ashwell shabby chic it's a sticker uh, when you order you receive the package and that is a sticker that she puts on her packages which is very nice i don't know if you mean to see there is a r with a crown at the top 
it's embossed, it, it's nice. And this woman, she obviously she's a musician. Her name is Maria Duenas. I don't know how we say in Spanish. I don't especially know her. I just found the photo nice and that's it. And that was a paper from a packaging of a soap from Anthropology that I kept many years. And uh, I had some scrap papers like that, that I kept and the nutcrackers. Uh, that is something that I made on, on kind of a thick paper. I do thank you notes like that for my customers and it was a piece remaining. I did that and once it was done, I was like, wow, I'm trying to show you from the top. It's, it's not really my style, but I'm very happy with this page and I don't know how it happened and, and the funniest thing is that I pulled this uh, violet.fr it's not to do advertising for Violet even though I already did some advertising for her but it's also from her packaging I really like that so I glued it here and then I put this image which is a painting by Dubuffet and I didn't realize that it was purple and violet, basically it's purple. I didn't do it purposely, but it fits perfectly. So I'm really very happy with this page. And I thought that's crazy. When I don't think about it, I do it right. <laughs> and when I think about it, I don't know what to do. <laughs> The pages are thick enough, good, really good quality of paper. And with all what I glued on it, it it's really thick. I like the fact that the, the edges are not perfectly straight. I, I like that. Okay, here I was very excited about <laughs> some paints that I bought at Target, which are neon colors. <laughs> and I was... Uh, basically experimenting with them so that's why there is a lot of neon uh, that is some test on the newspaper of markers and I, I cut it and I put it there uh, this is a sticker made by an artist who exhibited in my shop a very long time ago and uh, she left a lot of stickers behind her uh, I kept them and I, I really like fantasies everywhere Oh, uh, boobies, uh, that was uh, an address in Paris a very long time ago to buy uh, everything related to packaging. And uh, I think that it's my friend Fahim Boubia, who is a French artist, who actually gave me this address and uh, I wanted to keep it. I don't know if boobies still exist. Yes, the neon paints. That's it. It's just a, a big mess, but uh, I like it. So here, I don't know if this page is finished. I, I don't really care. Once again, it's to cover things that I didn't want to see. Same thing that is tests on newspaper of products. So I think it was crayon, uh, pencils, colored pencils that I was testing. And I cut it and I put it there. Oh, these are things that I bought on Amazon, you know, it's kind of stickers, but made in the same material as washi tape and it's little transparent all around. And the same thing, I was testing here something. And uh, yeah, I bought lately a lot of washi tape, so <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I was putting a lot of washi tape everywhere because I wanted to use what I bought. But um, the bird, I don't know where it comes from, from a magazine, I suppose. But basically, this is my page. I'm sorry, it's not ideal the way I'm filming. I will try to figure out how to be better. Maybe I will have to use my old camera. So here, these papers, I will explain to you in another video how I'm doing that. Uh, it's not very complicated, but I have a lot of fun doing things like that. Uh, that is some pencils, color pencils. And I used a lot of markers, uh, gel, pen, 
Uh, yes, that is gel pen. Posca, probably Posca also. Yeah, nothing special on this page except that I will show you how I do that. It's very fun. Oh, this page, that is a success too. <laughs> but the images that I was gluing are beautiful. I kept this image. I like the blue. I like these candles. I wanted to keep them because it gives me ideas to do that. That gives me ideas to do that also. It's something that I kept a very long time. During a very long time, I really like this idea of uh, bags, decorated bags. And I love this image of someone painting uh, with watercolor, it seems. And um, yes, and my page is really blue. And if you are wondering why that, Actually, it comes from the clear gesso that I put on the top and it created this effect. I think that I, I arrived at the end of my bottle and I must uh, mix it a little better. But I actually like the distress look, so I kept it like that so far. I'm very happy with this page. And, and this, so this is really purely some test on paper on you know a printer paper and i'm testing colors and paints and to see if they are still working and uh, all kinds of paint there is some acrylic some watercolor some uh, crayons and markers and gesso and really everything and uh, I cut the pages and I, I put them here and I don't, I cannot say that it's finished, but that's good for now. So here I'm going on only to show this side because the other side, things are written. I really want to do another video about these little things here. I have a lot of fun doing that. And I think that it deserves another video. Yes, I did it here also. And yes, cat hair included. Every time I'm working, he comes and he puts his hair everywhere. His hair's everywhere. So this is my little game also. Same thing. I will do a video about that. It's the same technique. A lot of fun with that. Okay, so here it's something else. It's a um, scrapbook. Yes, I think it's the square size of the scrapbook that I bought probably in 2004 or so. And uh, I bought it at Anthropology for $7.95. It was on sale. Originally, the price was $36. Then it was almost $15. And then I got it at almost eight dollars i love the anthropology sales when i was on vacation in los angeles <laughs> i don't do scrapbook i i it annoys me you know the the scrapbooking it's too it's too precise and too geometrical for me it's too, too much cut uh, I don't like what is perfectly cut and all that. Uh, it's not my thing. I bought it in 2004. In 2005, I got separated with my ex-husband. So I hadn't used that a lot. I only used it when I arrived in Los Angeles. So it means uh, 2006 when I was starting searching uh, for my store and I was you know, uh, searching for what color I was going to use on my store and all that. Actually, I had, a, then I had a pink store on uh, Melrose Avenue, but it didn't last a long time. I, I moved then and uh, I, I found where I'm now. Oh, that was coming from, yes, from Victoria's Secret. I was not very excited with the idea of using that because it reminded me when I was on vacation with my ex-husband and it was good memories and in the same time a little sad memories. So I didn't use it much 
only for paint samples and things like that. And the other day, by sorting some paper to glue and scrap papers and things like that, I stumbled on something that I didn't know that I kept. I'm going to show you what it is. It's that. It was a live festival in 2005, very close to Paris, uh, in the Paris suburb. And uh, there was there the Foo Fighters and uh, Robert Plant, I remember and many many artists but for me it's uh, the i think the worst memory that i have because that was uh, in uh, may 27th of 2005 and my ex just dumped me on may 5 so a few days before but my son had uh, bought the tickets for us and he wanted us to come and we decided to go to please my younger son. And um, it was not a good idea because my ex didn't stay long. And I was basically a mess. And uh, I really thought that I was going to, I don't know, to faint. I was really feeling bad. I didn't know then that I had a depression, but I was not feeling good at all. So I stumbled on this ticket and I couldn't believe that I kept it. And uh, I asked my son if he wanted it. He didn't want it for him. It was not a good memory either <laughs> to see his parents like that. When I think about it, I feel so bad for him. He was 16 then, it was hard on him. So I wanted to throw it. And then I thought, no, I must stop, how to say that, I must stop hiding things under the carpet. <laughs> it's a French expression, I don't know if it works in English. Uh, you know, when you don't want to talk about something, you, you put it under the carpet and it doesn't exist. But anyway, I wanted to do something positive from that. That's why I wrote non plus jamais ça. It means no, never that again. And I put, because of course I like to laugh, so I put paper of a chewing gum and uh, it's a French, I don't know if it's a French brand, it's maybe American, I don't know. It's Malabar, the, the brand, and the advertising, it's always, quand y'en a marre, y'a Malabar, which means when you are fed up, fortunately, there is Malabar. You take a chewing gum and you feel better. Next time, I will take a Malabar and I will feel better. <laughs> and here I put, I found the, this thing to vote no uh, for a referendum. It was about Europe. I think it was about if we wanted a constitution in Europe. Obviously, it interested me a lot, as you can see. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm for Europe, but I don't want to be bothered with the details, you know. So um, I think that I voted yes. And of course, I ended up with a no. But I put my no here because no. I don't want that ever again, so no, <laughs> I put it here. <laughs> this page is after the catastrophe. So why did I put the American flag? Because I had the good idea to move away to the United States. <laughs> Such a good idea. That was the solution. Why the bird? Because I fly away from this mess. And why the angel here? because maybe the angel is always watching on me maybe maybe so here is my page which was such a great idea because now it's it's gone you know i put it here and i'm done with this bad memory and with my son we talked about it and uh, it allowed us to talk about it and to get rid of this memory it was sad for him too so the next page, I did something joyful after that. Joy, joy, a lot of joy. So uh, I received this advertising. I loved how joy was written. Animals, pets make me joyful. 
and I wrote even animals know better how to love and I did some little stamping with animals I have here uh, I don't know it's a goose or a duck and here it's a kind of reindeer and here is my cow and I'm saying bye bye because I left to the US he's saying bye bye too my angel is still here and uh, my heart is still here not broken anymore and uh, this oh, this it came from a lotion that i bought at marks and spencer when it was still in paris and uh, i was always going to marks and spencer to buy my lotions and creams marks and spencer didn't remain in paris they left because it was not working for them there and i was very sad when they left and they went back to england so for me it's the symbol on something which left so here i left too i left to the us and that's why i put it here and here there is a ticket from tokyo japan because my older son left to japan all the symbols are here oh my god i really have an allergy okay and here <laughs> that is some flip through the paper is excellent it's not perfectly flat but it doesn't become you know wavy like bad paper so here i don't know what i wanted to do <laughs> i was trying some stamps here uh, that i had that i have and that i didn't use a lot and i used some colored pencils in my stamps here and that is a drawing that i made on a piece of paper and i glued it here uh, you don't you can't see it but there is a little i i i use some markers which have slightly some glitter in it but it's not very visible and uh, what else some tea uh, i like that it was on the packaging i really like this stamp that i have uh, that was a sticker that I've had since so many years. Oh, that is a very old address of mine. So there is nothing confidential here. I don't live there anymore since a very long time. Uh, this is, I didn't make that. It's a piece of art made by Douglas Alvarez. I wrote it here to remember the name of the artist and uh, yes that was obviously some packaging uh, that is a stamp it, it's not a tag it's a stamp that i colored also these are postal stamps that i really like so since i've been working on my infamous page with the bad memory ticket I cannot stop I cannot stop so this was more a page dedicated to my son and daughter-in-law with ephemera that come from moment where i was with them so of course that is from starbucks that you are not going to believe what it is it was some packaging some plastic packaging on my chicken that i bought at the grocery store and just a part of it that is roosters I found that beautiful so I cut the plastic I washed it because it was really dirty <laughs> and I glued it and it glues really well I used some tacky glue I think but it glues really well and that was coming from a packaging also uh, baby lips you know what it is and uh, that is my little personal fun that i will explain in another video that, that comes also from starbucks as you can imagine and so here there is a lot of lush things uh, because my daughter-in-law uh, offered me some lush products so there was this little brochure in the package so I put some watercolor on it to make it more fun and I attached it with some yarn 
that I have. And uh, my little fun that I will explain to you in another video. Uh, this is a, a candle that I have, but I offered the same uh, to my son and daughter-in-law a few months ago. Uh, I was so excited that I put the drums upside down, but I like the image like that, so never mind. <laughs> oh, these are these stickers that I bought on Amazon and which are fabulous. That is a test that I made to see if I had the COVID um, because I was sneezing and uh, I had a sore throat. I did the test, uh, I had nothing. I think it's a really an allergy problem that I have. And uh, I wrote happy days because all that are happy days with my son and daughter-in-law. And again, the neon colors that I love so much. All that is very neon, as you can see. I really love this. And the sound that it makes, once you put some water on paper, then it has this specific sound that I love. Yes, here, the, this was making me think of the rain. So I put some drops here to continue the idea. And uh, yes, and that's it. So here you have the two pages, as you can see. I must not forget the cat. <laughs> I love this sticker. It's my older son who brought me these uh, stickers. He gave me several stickers of cats that he got when he was living in Japan. And uh, I have not used them so far. And I thought, oh, I'm going to put it here because my younger son has two cats and uh, I have a cat. And every time I see my younger son, it's all about the pets. So I saw that on this page, uh, this cat had to be there. I really love that. Okay, then I'm going to show you two other journals, which are completely different. Uh, not all of them, just a few pages. So I was interested in trying to work in these composition books, which cost absolutely nothing. I think I paid 50 cents for that. So, of course, the paper is not great. So I'm very surprised because a lot of people on YouTube work on these things and uh, i'm not convinced the paper is really really bad at a point i started gluing together two pages as you can see i really love the neon colors so it's basically i glued some stuff that i had oh, a little boat here that i made i'll try to show you a bottle of bad white uh, french water i found the bottle very nice anyway here it is um, so I'm, why I'm showing you that? Because I'm testing on this paper. I'm trying everything on this paper to see what works the best. It's not just to show you my pages. It's, it's really to test the products. So uh, that was my job in Paris. I was doing um, arts and craft demonstration and I was testing a lot of products. So basically it, it continues. <laughs> I'm still testing, except that nobody is asking me anything. I just do it because I want to. I'm a tester. <laughs> so here I used some oil pastel by Sennelier. Oh my God, I love I love these pastels. The problem is that they are very creamy and very oily. So of course it can smudge on the other page. But I realized I used on it some um, a sealer, you know, a spray, a spray that we use for rather dry or, or soft pastels, not for oil pastels. But it works on oil pastel too. So I used oil pastel plus a kind of sealer and i absolutely love love the aspect of the paper uh, i glued first because gluing on oil pastel it may be a problem i didn't try but it could be a problem i'm not saying that it's ideal for a journal to use that but i really love the aspect of it and it looks almost like some waxed paper you know here i tried 
uh, what it was no I, I put some acrylic and some white on the top the problem is that i used some markers where it was no i used the markers here and it was too strong so i put some gesso on them and i glued these images but the markers were visible on the other side so i put some gesso so i glued this image with some washi tape again so markers it's better to choose the right ones posca yes i have some markers that you are not going to find here because they are french and they are old but they are still working and the color is very strong and the color is so strong that it goes on the other side so i must not use them for this type of paper and you see how wrinkle is the paper it's really bad it is really bad quality of paper uh, this is uh, this is what I do when I'm nervous. <laughs> That's not my style at all. I don't like. I, I wanted to try a technique, and uh, I, it's not me. I did one, and that's it. I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but what did I use? I think that I used some marker too, some Posca and probably some watercolor also but the markers were so strong again that it appeared on the other side on this page where i glued a book page a vintage book page but i really like what it did actually here i just glued some paper this page is not finished to make it thicker and a doily as you can see the paper doily Un jour sans pain, c'est un jour sans soleil. It means a, a, a day without some bread, it's a day without some sun. I just try to put some acrylics and gesso to see if it was making it thicker. It does, but the paper on one side and the paint on the other side. You see, paper, paint. Yes, it make it thicker. And here is just some paint oh okay so here two pages are glued together this time so it makes it a little thicker i just did that they are not finished uh, these pages I, i'm just trying so here i just did that it's so hot and humid in my home that uh, this um, washi tape doesn't want to stay but I'm, I'm going to glue it really to make it stay but that is some washi tape too it's not finished i'm just experimenting right now and here two pages are glued together ah yes i applied the paint so it's some acrylic paint but i applied it with the knife for painting i mean uh, not the knife that you have in your kitchen i use that and that to apply that i wanted to see if i don't put some water in my paint if it's going to hold the paper straighter and it's better it's better than a brush i saw a woman who was gluing three pages together i suppose that three pages together glued together must be really thicker but nevertheless the quality of the paper itself is bad to finish i had this book i tried to see around me if someone wanted it nobody wanted it so I thought, okay, I'm going to maybe try to work on it. The paper seemed to me not bad. Thin, but not bad. So I started gluing two pages together. It's a little better. It's always better than that, for sure. And I didn't glue them all. When there is a drawing, I keep the drawing. And I work around it. So just to show you i just started on it so so far i did that 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 you see here it's this i, I made a stencil from a piece of paper i put some uh, washi tape here to make it a little sturdier to hold it 
and uh, I use it like that as a stencil. Uh, that is some tissue paper that I had. Uh, I used some acrylics here. Yes, I don't consider this page as finished, but for now it's good enough. Oh, here, oh, what happened in Roswell stays in Roswell. <laughs> I was listening to Roswell, uh, the series, not watching because I was watching my page, what I was doing, but I was listening to Roswell. I like this series, mostly the first season. Anyway, I was working on that and it was making me think of planets. There is a little, some soft pastel here. A lot of fun on this page. That is also a packaging from a soap that I bought at Anthropology a long time ago. They were doing these beautiful papers. I was buying the soaps just for the paper. <laughs> no, the soaps were great too. But I loved, loved their packaging. There is a little some glitter. I don't know if you manage to see. And this... This is soft pastel, so sennelier. This is some watercolor. And here I worked with some uh, wax crayons and also some watercolor and soft pastel. So I put the watercolor above the soft pastels. And I use the spray to seal the pastels. I like that it was written not normal <laughs> because this guy is not completely normal. <laughs> anyway, I did that yesterday evening and uh, I really love working with pastel, oil pastel or soft pastels. But my only concern is how to make them stay on the journal. So with the spray, it works. Well, you know, when you work with some watercolors, you have to seal it also, because if you put some water on it, it's not going to stay. But the problem of the pastel is that you have a lot on your hands and uh, everywhere. So that's not ideal for a journal. Okay, so you see, I'm testing. Oh, I had a delivery and I have such a allergy today i don't know what is happening I, I received these i really like them just to do the details in white it's thinner than the sharpie it's more precise let's say sometimes you have to seal it several times to make it stay i don't know what i have but i cannot stop creating and journaling and doing some stuff so maybe it's time to go back to the roots it doesn't mean that I'm not going to talk about Marcolis and Tok Tok anymore. It just means that I want to talk about that if there is something interesting. You are going to see pet cats and one dog, more exactly. Don't judge the voice that I have when I talk to them. <laughs> see you soon. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, comment if you want to. Ask me questions if you want to. And don't forget to look at the pets. Comment il va le petit Teddy Comment il va le petit Teddy
my daughter in law. She's completely lost without her. And Bella, you are wondering where is Carol? Oh, this is my daughter in law's art. Chacha, hello, chacha, moi, t'es mon chacha, moi, oui, 